what I'd like to ask you sure. is, uh, Robert, how did you get your, your part on Laramie? How did that happen? Well, I, uh, at, the, at the time, I was uh, guest starring on a Cimarron City uh, with George Montgomery. And, uh, <clears throat> this was late 1958, and uh, I had never dreamed that anybody would ever offer me a series. And uh, at lunchtime, the assistant director came up to me and said, Patrick Kelly would like to see you in his office. And at that time, Patrick Kelly was the uh, president in charge of talent of the whole studio. And I thought, uh-oh, what have I done wrong now? It's like going to see the principal, which I had to do quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, and I thought I was going to be in trouble. But anyway, uh, I went up to his office, and uh, the secretary uh, ushered me into his office. And Patrick Kelly is a delightful Irishman, uh, good-looking, younger man, and, uh, and with a great sense of humor. And he said, we've been watching you at the studio, and we're interested in uh, having you do a series for us. And I was really taken aback. I, I couldn't believe it, you know. I said, my God, really? You know, he said, yeah. He said, we have a series called Markham, and it's, uh, it's uh, starring Ray Milan. And uh, there's a part in it for a young detective, and we'd uh, like you to do it. And I said, a detective? And he said, yes. And I said, well, I said, sir, I... I really don't want to play a detective. I, I, I want to do, I'm, I'm looking to do a Western. And he says, he says, did you hear what I just said? <laughs> We're, I'm offering you a co-starring role with Ray Milan in a television series. And I said, yes, sir, I understand that, but I, I don't want to play a detective. I want to be a cowboy. <laughs> I want to do a Western. <laughs> and he said, well, he said, uh, he said, uh, I don't know what to tell you. He said, uh, go on, just get out of here. So I turned around and I left and I thought, oh man, that's the end of it. I'll never work at this studio again. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, about another week later or so, my agent called me and said, Patrick Kelly wants to see you again. And I thought, uh oh, well, this could be, you know. So I went up to his office and I walked in and he said, hello, star. <laughs> <laughs> I said, not quite, sir. I said, not quite, but. Uh, but uh, what can I do for you? And he said, well, he said, uh, and he threw a script across the table. He said, take this out in the office and read it and then tell me what you think about it. And I said, okay. And I picked it up and I walked outside and it was a half hour version of a series called Laramie. And I read it and fell in love with it. I just said, my God, this is the best Western I've ever read. The part of Jess Harper is unbelievable. You know, this is what I've been waiting for all my life. So I walked back in and I said exactly those things to him. And he said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. He said, we're not talking about you for the part of Jess Harper. We're talking about you for the part of Slim. Jess Harper is already cast. John Smith has it and he's under contract to us at uh, the studio. And I said, oh. I said, oh, I'm sorry then. I, I can't do this series. I can't. <laughs> and he said, what? I said, I don't, are you a, really a star already? And I said, I said, no, sir. I said, I just... Uh, Slim, I'm not right for Slim. Jess is, I am Jess. That's the part I'm ready for. And he said, but I, I'm telling you, you can't get it. It's already been cast. John Smith has the part. And I said, well, I'm very sorry, sir. I can't do your series. Get out of here. And I turned around and I left. And I thought, no, I've really had it. I'll never work at the studio again. I went home. About 5 o'clock that afternoon, my agent called and said, they want you to be at the studio at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning to test for the part of Jess in a new series called Laramie. <laughs> and I couldn't believe my heart just started going. And I went in the next morning. I did the test. My cameraman on the test was Ray Ranahan, who invented Technicolor, who was the color consultant on Gone with the Wind and was one of the nicest guys I could ever work with in my life. Did all the Laramies. And I did the test. Went home that afternoon. The next morning, they called and said, you got the part of Jess Harper. No, no, that's, that's, yeah, that's fantastic. That's, that's how it happened. No, Smitty, you, were, you were so lucky that they didn't run you out. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Smitty wasn't real happy with it in the beginning, but it, uh, by the time we did the first uh, hour show, he realized that the casting was right, that he was right for Slim and I was right for Jess.